Good afternoon, happy Sunday. We're here at, I'm here at Gathered Goods on North Brady in Davenport on this beautiful Sunday. I'm gonna take you a tour of the store, if I can get in the store. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, isn't this pumpkin cool? It's the coolest thing ever. Only 40 bucks, somebody's made that. So, Gathered Goods, just sister store to Mississippi Marketplace, but please don't come in here and try to haggle with people. These people work hard to bring you this beautiful home decor with their blood, sweat, tears. So please don't come in and try to haggle. Just come in, if you want it, get it, because next time you come in, it won't be here. If you don't haggle at other stores, don't think you can haggle here. I know how hard these women and men work to bring these beautiful decor items to these stores and these booths. And if you need a booth, contact Gathered Goods or Mississippi Marketplace directly. They have some places oh, now in Mississippi Marketplace, they have some shelving units open that are really fairly inexpensive. I don't know why my angle is a little far out here, um, but I'm not that close, so. North Brady, Davenport, I'm gonna take you and show you. You got fusion paints, you got Wiesel chalk paints. Um, her prices on her bath and body stuff is very reasonable. She's my neighbor here, and this is my booth here. I don't know why I have a wide angle on my phone. So it's, uh, yeah, not tech savvy here. So sorry about that, but I restocked today. I've got a couple of my chalk painted tables here. Lots and lots of Myra bags. North End Vintage, that's who I am. You know me, if you know me, you know where I'm at. I'm in Southeast Iowa. Um, doo -doo -doo. Look at that huge mirror. No, you're not gonna get to see me in that mirror. <laughs> this lady's got lots of neat clothing items. There's so much to see here, you just have to come. I don't know what else to tell you about it. And I really don't know why my phone is close up. They've got lots of neat prints if you need a print for your wall. Lots of handmade goods. Again, please, people work hard to make these items. Blood, sweat, and tears go into this stuff. A lot of people's therapy making things, repurposing things, and you know, when you come in and haggle, that's that's like taking the winds out of somebody's sails. It's like, it's like hitting them in the gut when you say, well, you take $10 for this when it's $20. So just don't do that. Don't be that person. If you can't afford it, you can't afford it. You know, try to find something you can't afford. This is a great place to find gifts. So if you're Christmas shopping already, which probably should be because, you know, we're already in September. So and these little pumpkins here, oh, they are so cute. And I love this. It's so adorable, spooky. If you decorate for Halloween, she is perfectly twisted designs if you want to follow her. Hi, honey. I don't know why my phone is like a zoomed in. You know how to zoom ink. I don't know how to zoom it out. I'm live now. Ooh, I don't want to be on there. Yeah. You're out as far as it goes. Oh, I don't want it. Keep I don't going. Okay, that's a little better. There. Sorry, you guys. Oh, Linda Gipple says, go slow. I can't see. Sorry, Linda. <laughs> I can't go 
too slow because it would be a really long video. This store is so full of stuff. I can't go really slow. I'm sorry. You got to get up here, Linda. If you can get up to Davenport, have Audra or Leslie bring you. One of your grand grand girls. Grand grand girls. Is that a word? Um. He even got like vintage candies and stuff. Okay, so. And there's good places to eat lunch, of course, in the Quad Cities. I could give you ten dozen places. Yeah, that's massive back here. Yeah, gonna, yeah. Nice. See, Doug says it's massive. He's not lying. I'm going to go in here to this guy's booth. He's got Mr. Brad. I don't know. That's probably something for sale. It says Mr. Brad. That is a vintage coach. I bet that's from the 80s. Ooh, he's spooky. This guy's got a little bit of everything in here. I mean, you got to give yourself some time. This is the sister store to Mississippi Marketplace. If you've been to Mississippi Marketplace, you know it takes a while to get through there. And it'll take you a while to get through this one. If you take your time and look at everything. Look at this cute little $24 for this little vintage toy doll table set. I always love cute little things like that. So let's go out here. Hi. Hello. Is this your booth? Or you're just buying? You're fine. You're fine. We got a customer here shopping. No, that's not my booth. I'm just, I'm doing a video for my Facebook. Yep. Yep. I did. I bought some of that sugar cookie mix and you can make up some frosting just with what is it milk or i don't know milk and sugar yeah it's, it's super easy to make the the uh frosting for it bourbon what do you put bourbon in it well you probably could yeah why not? If it's liquid, you could add bourbon to it. <laughs> Lots of toys. Brand new toys, too. They're not used toys. Even brand new shoes. Or you can see me. Hi! Ah. Lots of kids' clothes. The brand new. Most stuff in here is brand new. If it's not brand new, it's probably vintage. It's probably something you can't find anywhere else. Oh, look at that. That Somebody needs that in their home. You have a big home where you have an empty space. You could decorate that up for Christmas, spring, Halloween. You could paint it even if you wanted. Spray paint it white. It's $189. Not bad priced if it's something you want. This is a really neat booth. I haven't been in here yet. We got the American Gothic couple. We know they're from Eldon, Iowa. American Gothic. I go through Eldon quite a bit for work. Or I've been to Eldon too. They've got a cute little store in Eldon. Like a thrift store. If you ever get that way. I am at Gathered Goods and North Brady in Davenport, Iowa. The store just opened a couple of weeks ago. Their grand opening is this weekend. If you're going to come here, I would come this Saturday, or coming Saturday or Sunday. Not today, but you can still come today. They're open till 5 or 6. But next weekend, they'll have their full grand opening. They're giving away prizes. Um, they got deals going on. And uh, it's going to be fun. This this person, I'll say lady. I'll assume it's a lady. Could be a guy. I don't know. Her booth, I dare you to find not find something you want in her booth. I dare you. 
she's a girl after my heart look at she painted this and she put she put that on there and she only wants 34.95 keep in mind she pays rent to be here and that is not a bad price it's a solid wood bread box and she did a really good job doing that I'm not always the best at my craft I try but I have a lot of nervous energy. I'm like my mother. She always had a lot of nervous energy. And that goes into my craft. But I try. Sometimes I surprise myself. That would be neat hanging on a door somewhere that is $24.95. I think she's made that. That's handmade. Another booth. Bat shit crazy. Yeah, we're all we're all little bat shit crazy. I will upload this video to my YouTube as well. I'm getting more and more people on there. Um vintage jewelry. Look at those beautiful brooches. Those are really becoming popular with you know your millennials and you're even younger than millennials because they're wearing them with scarves or on their shirts, you know. Oh, look at this cute little Hawkeye towel thing you put over your stove or, let me see here. $2.50, are you kidding me? I should have bought that. Yeah, I'm gonna probably have to get that for somebody. Sorry, it's gone. See how quick stuff goes? You gotta get in here. Next weekend is a grand opening. Gathered Goods, North Brady. If you remember where the old Toys R Us was in Davenport, just a little bit north. When you turn left there to go on to Brady from Kimberly, make sure you put your signal on right away. Gathered Goods has, they have a pretty big sign out there. They're just opening, so they're new. They're figuring things out. They're getting more and more vendors. I remember those pictures. Oh my gosh. My my oldest my older sisters had those pictures. And if you know a horse lover, that one's only 18. 18. If you don't like the frame on that, you could put old barn barn board wood frames around those. Those would be amazing. They look good the way they are though. Oh, Isabel Blooms. Who doesn't love Isabel Blooms? She was an Iowa artist from here in the Quad Cities and they have kept her legacy alive and they still reproduce her work. Look at this piggy. He is like a resin. There's another piggy. Somebody likes piggies. These look like old Hummels. Remember Hummels? Gathered Goods, North Brady Street, Davenport. Okay, so this person has, they got a Barbie Harley Davidson motorcycle. They've got jewelry. Um, they've got a lot in this booth. They're open today until five or six. You have to like Gathered Goods on Facebook. Gathered Goods in Davenport, and they'll tell you their hours. Also, Mississippi Marketplace, I'm headed there next after I take my husband to Best Buy. Yes, I have to take him to Best Buy for him suffering coming here. No, he likes coming here. He won't admit it. But they have got booth space available. If you've ever wanted to own your own little store, look at this. You own your own little store here in this huge city. Foot traffic like you wouldn't believe. And you don't have to do the overhead. You're just paying them rent. And you have to come maintain your booth, of course. $300 a month with one-year lease. That's not bad. I mean, if you opened a store, trust me, opening a store is a lot more. So I'm going to walk down the aisle of these old grandfather clocks. And when you come here, make sure you do this, too, because you hear them ticking. It's just things of our past that we you don't see these every day you don't see the younger generation kids having 
the grandfather clocks like our grandmas did or our parents. And these are immaculate, in immaculate condition. And this tells you the story of this man who made this and it's $1,299. This man handmade this clock and it, it's got a story here. Um, this one's on sale. That's huge, oh my God, that's beautiful. So let's keep going. We got even some cleaning goods here. We got some toys, new in box. If you've got young ones to buy for. Oh, I didn't know they had uh, some bath and body stuff. This is, you can get 456 loads out of this bucket. It's $34, equivalent to gain or tide. So that's pretty cheap for a laundry soap. If you do a lot of laundry, there you go. I should have gotten one of those. There's a Barbie C's candy. I think that's a place, isn't it? I don't think they have them in Iowa. I know I'm so Iowa. I've heard of them though, C's candy. I think they're mm, somewhere out West California. They do have a lot of booth space available. Chris J. Woodcrafts, local artist, I'm sure. He's a 309, so he's Illinois. But these benches are cool. And those, those things there, you can do a lot with those. Barn quilt type things. Um, I got, there's an antique booth over there. I always love the Native American things. It's part of my heritage on my mother's side, so I appreciate that. You're getting tired of your old home decor, come in here, you can find lots of things to redecorate with. These are neat. These are kind of cool. You could put those in a basket. So she's probably painted those. See, she's a girl after my heart again. Look, she's repurposed things. I get ideas coming here too. This is cute. She's only got six fifty on that. Six dollars and fifty cents. And she repurposed that. And that's these are nine fifty each, but these spindles are getting harder and harder to find. Sometimes, like matching, you can find them, but they're getting pricier where you can't um, flip them and, you know. I have red boxes like this, but I've never yeah. thought to do this with the different coloring. She's taking a lot of time to do this bread box. This takes a lot of time. Try not to get you know, in the lines. She wants $54.90 for that. That's not bad. If you want something to decorate with that's not cheap, it's, you know, it's repurposed. Call it handcrafted, DIY. A lot of people say DIY these days. That's what I say, DIY. Hi. She redid this. That's cute. I do a lot of the rolling pins too. So there's two more aisles here. Um, I don't know how long of a live I can go, but I'm gonna go a little faster. Sorry, Linda, here's another booth. Here's another booth. They've got a lot of, um, what do you call them? Stones, they make things with the stones. Sage, they've got the little um, soapstone animals. Um, oh my goodness, look at him. I don't know what's going on there, but <laughs> there is somebody out there that wants this, I'm sure. I don't personally, but somebody out there wants that. They've put a lot of work into the store. The vendors have put a lot of work into the store. I have a booth, I carry my Myra bags here. I have a couple of things that I painted here. 
And there's another booth open. Can you see your stuff in that? Look at that. With the doors. And yeah. Like the garden doors, the outdoor doors. Yeah, that's just cool. That one's 300 a month, 10 by 10, a year lease. You know, you can bring Katie and Jason are the owners here. Talk to them about renting a place. If you're interested in owning your own business, but you don't want to go in, dive in head, head first, just try out a booth, see how your product does. If you hand make something. My husband's saying pretty long, I gotta wrap it up. <laughs> he wants to get to Best Buy, that's what it is. Sorry guys, you gotta come here. That's all I'm gonna say. So much to see. They've even got the Christmas tree going. Next weekend's our open house, grand opening. Gathered Goods, North Brady, Davenport, Iowa. Check it out soon.